All right. So I would like to do an example of the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So I would like to compute the line integral over C of the vector field 2x comma 2y dotted with dr, where C is the path that goes from, oh, I forget what point I said, so minus 2, 4 to 3, 7 via the following. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the beauty of the fundamental theorem of line integrals, right? If you can get it to work, you don't need to parameterize anything, right? <laughs> Which is why it's absolutely worth spending a second checking. So what are you going to check? Like, how do I check whether the fundamental theorem of line integrals works for me or not? But what are you wondering? Like, why are you, yeah. Is this the gradient of something, right? Yeah. I'm looking at this thing here, my vector field, and I'm thinking, maybe, hopefully, oh please, let this be the gradient <laughs> of something, right? <laughs> and of course, the gradient of something is the right, partial of f with respect to x, comma, the partial of f with respect to y. So what do I need to do now, Mark? Um, integrate one of those two with respect to one variable and then do the derivative with respect to the other and you get the same thing. Something, something. Yeah, totally. If you can finagle it, so they agree. Yeah, I wanna I'm hoping right now, right, that the partial of f with respect to x is two x. That looks way too much like <laughs> A partial of f with respect to x is 2x, right? I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that partial of f with respect to y is 2y, right? Okay, so let me take the antiderivative of this thing with respect to what? Uh, the other variable? Or no, x. Yeah, so I want to get rid of an x derivative, right? So I want an x antiderivative. So I'm going to integrate both sides dx. Okay. You see that? Throw that on there. The next thing I'm going to get is going to be what? X squared. I'm going to have like f1, right? Yeah. This might be f, right? Well, really, there's a problem with constants, right? So. This is like my best guess for f right now is what? x squared. Plus x squared. Plus, plus, oh, plus c constant c of, c of x. Plus c of, constant can be a function of y. y. Not x, but the other variable, right? Oh. So c of y. Please note in three dimensions, yeah. right? Yeah, you put the other one constant. This can be both the other variable. You guys see that? So in one dimension, this can only be the other variable. In three, it can be a function of both of the other two. Okay. So, right, so these get harder. It's kind of simple if you have each part be just in terms of itself. Yeah. Because then you just stick them all together and go on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just add them all together. Like, it's good. But when they're a little tangled, things get hard. So like here, if I take the derivative of this with respect to y, what do I get? You're going to get to put just x2y with respect to y. With respect to y, it's... Yeah, with respect to y, right? I want to wonder, is this the thing that worked, right? Like It's just going to be zero. Yeah, so your first guess would be to say, OK, cy is probably 0. So I'm looking at x squared. If I take that thing's derivative with y, it's zero. I get 0. Is that what I was supposed to get over here? No, crap. So I need that CY, I've got to deal with it. So there's two options. You can either differentiate this thing and solve a little differential equation. Or set f1 to 2x. Or you could I'll do that one. 
do that one and then see if you can reconcile the bits. Okay. I'm going to reconcile the bits because that's the way I think. But you guys can do the other way if you want. So on this guy, what do I do? Anti differentiate differentiate d y y. So I'm going to slap a dy derivative. Are these d's so partials. Uh, d y or del. Are they dels or d's? These are partials. These are d's. That's why I'm getting this silly c y business. Yeah, because they don't actually cancel, right? Otherwise, I'd get f and I'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> right. So here I got f like attempt 2, right? F2.0 is going to be y squared, y, squared y squared plus some function of x. Yeah. Okay. Well, can you tell what the function of y is? No. Y squared. <laughs> right? This stuff and this stuff has to agree for this to work. You guys see that? So if these, if these can be made to agree, Right? You can apply the fundamental theorem of line integrals, right? And this thing will work hunky dory. If these can't be made to agree, you're totally bummed. You just can't do it. It's not the gradient of something. It probably isn't path independent. You guys see that? Or at least I'm not smart enough to see it's path independent, which happens sometimes. So what I see here is that f is. X squared plus Y squared, right? Okay, so how do I solve my original line integral? So that's what you would do. So my original line integral should be So you get whatever you get out of So that's really me wondering, hey, was the vector field I was trying to integrate, was that thing the gradient of something? So if you like took partials, you would get 2x, 2y minus 1. Yeah, so here, right, if I take the gradient of f, I get 2x, 2y. That's in fact the vector field I was talking about then, to begin with. Then you can plug in the points right in there. Yeah, then I can evaluate the antiderivative from both ends. Uh, you're just right? taking out a bunch of steps. Yeah, I took out the parameterization, I took out wondering about PR and R prime. you do all that and find out that you can't do it, then you have to do it the original way? Yeah. Yeah, so it is an option that this thing could fail, right? Not every function has an antiderivative in this step. And so this might be totally, whoops, can't happen, not, not a thing. Right? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. And if you... If you can't make it happen, it feels really weird. Mm -hmm. You're going to get two functions here that you're not going to be able to play this reconcile game with. Right? You're going to have some tangle between x and y that you can't deal with. 